Thank you so much for coming to The Messenger once again. I am The Messenger, and I'm just here to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation on whatever you are facing today. So today, I want to talk about beauty is evil. Now, I want to talk about this because this has bothered me forever, and... I hear this in the world and I hear this with pastors always preaching this and I don't see anywhere in the Bible where it says beauty is evil you know I I, I, I still haven't read upon it but, but we still preaching this thing and there's a lot of things that we're preaching and we're saying that is not biblical but people just live on it they agree with it and this is why a lot of beautiful people beautiful women and handsome men are single today because the world uh, and I like I said I've had pastors preach on it too that when you see a beautiful person we instantly think they're evil I, I don't I don't I don't get it because I remember so many times I've walked in a church and you, you have to understand because I've been done like this so much that I've tried so many times to not be beautiful to not look beautiful because of this. And it doesn't work. I'm just going to leave my hood off. It doesn't work because I remember working at a job full of men. And I will never work with a lot of men again because they're worse than women. They say men don't gossip. That's a lie. You go in a barber shop. I went in barber shops and as soon as I walk in, the men get quiet. <laughs> you already know and then once they get a little comfortable with you sitting there because i used to take my son when he was little to barber shops and um they get quiet and they're all looking and then when they get comfortable with you they start talking so they start gossiping and talking about stuff and they're the worst gossipers oh my god they're the biggest gossipers men i hate to say men but you are and so I worked with a lot of men and I stayed in trouble all the time because the men would come over and talk to me. They would stop talking. I mean, they would stop working and they would, I would always be in trouble. And so I come up with this, I was younger then, and I come up with this thing where, okay, I'm not going to wear a perfume. I'm not going to wear my hair. I started wearing scarves on my head. Like, back, they didn't have these. these were the, they probably did, but I didn't pay attention to them. Then, I think they did have them, but older, old women wore them then. But I wore scarves, and I would tie it on my head, and I cover my hair. I would not wear perfume. I didn't wear makeup anyway, but I wouldn't wear nothing. I mean, literally nothing. Um, like, I don't have on anything now, but I literally didn't wear nothing and it was worse it was 10 times worse so i'm like it doesn't matter if you're beautiful you're beautiful and i found out in god's word that beauty is the inside out so if i have a, a amazing personality and i'm beautiful on the inside it comes out i have a video where i talked about girls that were not attractive and they were beautiful on the inside and it made them beautiful outside and they will they will end up dating gorgeous men but anyway my point is you know that when i didn't look attractive when i did try to go out of my way to not be beautiful it was 10 times worse so too when i figured that out i was like you know what i'm just gonna be me and whoever has a problem with it something's wrong with them I did not ask to be beautiful. I did not ask to look like this. You got to talk to my mother because I look like my mom. And so 
I just learned to deal with it. But it irks me when I hear pastors and I when I hear and I see videos talking about beautiful women are evil. I don't I don't know where y'all getting that at. Now there are women that are evil. There are women that are hateful. But you have to understand why. And I'm gonna help you out. Well, why beautiful women are like that? You know, y'all don't understand that everybody beautiful is not evil and if that woman is evil she went through some stuff that has caused her to be so hateful to be so mean to be so blunt see life makes you like that life experiences make you like that and i've seen some ugly people that are just as hateful and evil as well so when i start seeing that it doesn't matter what you look like it's life experiences you start looking at people different and when we change our mindsets and stop preaching and saying that oh 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 she beautiful i i've walked in a church and i'm instantly labeled evil how i haven't even said anything i what what do you supposed to do being beautiful? I mean, I have I have never understood how you can label every beautiful person evil. I mean, I have been literally mistreated my whole life because of how I look. Who has control over their looks? Who raised your hand? Put in the comment if you ever ask God, make me beautiful nobody has ever had any control over how we look none so why are we teaching people and when a beautiful coming to oh she evil she after my husband she after this listen let me tell you something i have never went after no one's husband someone's husband went after me and you have to understand that people lie. People make it seem like they're in such an evil situation and you happen to fall in it. But when you find out the truth, you got to get out of it. It irks me when you're instantly being labeled. Now, there, like I said, I can't speak for everybody. I'm only speaking for me. But I know for a fact that I have went through a stage where I was mean and hateful. And you know why? Because of life and people have done some, some low down dirty things to me. And so I had to learn, hit this like button if this is helping you. And if this is helping you change how you look at people, you can't judge everybody. Now, if you had a bad experience then that's your experience. Then you learn from that. But if you've had a, a man, as a man, if you had a bad experience with a beautiful woman, you cannot label every beautiful woman as evil. You're going to miss out on your blessing. You're going to miss out on your wife. You're going to miss out on a best friend. You're going to miss out. Like I said, I don't know how many times I've walked into church and instantly the pastor start ministering about beautiful women and you know you know they're gonna look at you because first of all they know everybody else so why when this woman walk in you don't know me and shame on you for those that do that you've had a just admit it you've had a bad experience with a beautiful woman maybe she's used you maybe she but you have to understand a beautiful person or a beautiful man. There are plenty of men I know with low self-esteem because they're going through the same thing. Oh, you you a playboy? Uh, you I know you got a lot of women. I, I know you. Hit that like button if this is helping you or this is about you. I know you got a lot of women. I, I know you got somebody. You can't tell me you got somebody. I'm guilty of it. I've said that to a nice looking man i know you're not interested in me what, what what you want with me uh i i've had men tell me i know you got a man are you not married well what's wrong with you this is what women go through what's wrong with you there's nothing wrong with me what's wrong with y'all why do y'all want to use and mistreat beautiful women use them as a trophy 
I was a trophy wife. And in public, he treated me like a queen. And behind doors, he treated me like crap. And it, it affects you. Glory to God. I hope I'm helping somebody change how you treat people. I've seen some unattractive women that's just evil and hateful and think they all that and talk to people any kind of way. And they get the royal treatment. I'm just confused. Life makes you like that. And I was getting that way. And I had to catch myself and say, hey, wait, 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 wait. This is what they want me to do as a beautiful woman. They want me to be this way. So I had to learn how to understand that's, that's their issue. That's their problem. And I had to work on myself that I don't let other opinions of how their experience affect me. I'm going to be me. And every time I get out of a relationship, I take a break. So I won't be mean to the next person. Be mean to the next man. Because I don't want to be a bitter and angry woman. Because that's what they'll first label us, beautiful women, as a bitter and angry woman. And that ain't me. So I had to work on that. I don't know how many beautiful children... Beautiful teens, beautiful young women, beautiful older women have went through hell. And men have went through hell simply because of what they look like. Being prejudged. You, some do get royal treatment. Some women do get everything they want. Some men do get everything they want because they're handsome. And then there's some get dogged and mistreated and stalked and raped and, and, and lied on because they're beautiful. So I did this video to show you that you, you can't we as people need to do what's right. Pastors, I don't know how many I, I can't stress it enough how many times I've come into church and people mistreat me and look upside my head and talk to me crazy because how I look what does how I look have to do with me? And then when they see that I'm not like that, they'll be so confused. They'll be like, oh, I, you're not what I thought it was. Why would you think I was like that? I mean, come on. Now, let me tell you something. Like I told you, I did go through a stage where I was mean and hateful and what you looking at type of thing. And I guess I had to go through that to see why women and people me like that too i met a lot of beautiful men that are just the good men and because of how they look they don't have nobody that's why a lot of people are single right now to this day they will rather be single than keep dealing with this nonsense well you know my ex-husband thought everywhere i went Men are in my face. Where, where do you, what do you think? Why do you think that? And I think it's because I met him on the job. And that's how it was. So I guess he thought because the men was like that on the job, it's like that everywhere. So he just treated me bad. And then he hated that I dress nice. I'm like, what man in their right mind would be upset that you have a wife that dresses good? I don't get it. And so, I did go through a stage where I was mean. And if anybody know me, if we had a bad experience where I've cussed you out or went off on you, you literally have done something. And it was deep. I mean, I put up with a lot. I mean... And it hurts me to the core to be like that because you got some people that provoke you and do stuff to you just because. And I've had a lot of issues to where men would just talk to me any kind of way, do anything. And I'm very forgiving and overlooking and understanding. But if you've been around, you've dated me and I'll choose you one, you did something majorly and deep because I'm very forgiving 
very understanding and very caring. But that does not make me evil. That means you've provoked me and you've done something major to make me go to that level. Because I normally ignore you, forgive you, keep on going. But after so many times, I got to chew you one. And so, everybody beautiful is not evil. I, ho I hope I'm helping somebody. You're going to miss out on your husband because you're looking at this man like he a playboy. You're going to miss out on your wife because you're looking at this woman like she's slick and she evil and she got a man somewhere. Glory to God. I don't know how many times I have done that to a man. Because it's hard to believe. But there are... There are men with standards. There are women with standards, and they're not going to just take anything. They've already taken everything. So when you meet a beautiful woman and she's mean right now, that's because life has dealt her a hard time. And we as people need to be understanding and stop labeling her as evil and hateful. And another thing I want to talk about, when you meet a woman that's dating a married man, it ain't always the woman's fault. These men have issues. And we are so quick to blame the woman when we don't know, you don't know what we've been told to get in that situation. And we find out that it's a lie. So we need to be careful how we treat beautiful people. If you notice, there are so many beautiful people single right now and it ain't because something wrong with them it's because y'all don't know how to treat people y'all don't know how to talk to people y'all don't understand that everybody beautiful ain't wild everybody beautiful ain't out there everybody handsome ain't a, a playboy and they don't want they ain't looking at every woman they don't want every woman glory to god i hope i'm helping somebody please stop it it's annoying I go through. I just went through it the other day. A guy interested, and first of all, he speaks Spanish, and he just will not give up. This guy will not give up, no matter every time he see me, he be speaking Spanish to me. Like I really understand what he's saying, and he tries so hard. I mean, he he um, did a translator on his phone so he can communicate and he's steady trying to give me his number and i'm steady telling him no we can't even communicate why but he did not he he just cannot believe that i'm single well beautiful people get tired of being used and abused and verbally abused and uh, this is a, another big one i used to go through when i was younger the, the, the trying when you a confident woman when you a confident man and it's not you confident because you know you're beautiful sometimes we confident because we have been trashed in the past and we have been belittled and put down so we finding a way to keep our spirits up to be confident and here comes somebody that feels like we're too confident to tear us down glory to god you know, when I was younger, I would never come out like this. I promise you. I, I, I was always dolled up. But as I get older, and you know, this don't even bother me anymore because I've been beautiful all my life. I've had attention all my life. And I like wearing these things because people don't look at you so much. I like that. I like that I don't get as much attention as I used to. It's, it hasn't toned down a lot, but it's, it's way better than what it was when I was younger. And I will get men to try, that you try to tear down somebody's confidence. You ever had seen a, a, a unattractive man, I mean an unattractive uh, woman with a, a gorgeous man. And she's just mean as a junkyard dog. She's And she just tears down his confidence. I don't, I can't get it. What's the purpose of that? You got a beautiful man, you got a beautiful woman, and your goal is to tear them down so they won't go nowhere. They're not going anywhere. Glory to God, I hope I'm helping somebody. If you're doing this to your spouse or whoever you dating and getting enough shame on you, they're not going anywhere. You don't have to tear down somebody because they're beautiful to keep them. They're there. 
accept them the way they are. Everybody are not dogs. Everybody is not checking out every woman. And, and you can't trust them to go anywhere by themselves because you're the problem. You have low self-esteem, not them. So you need to build up your confidence. I remember when um, I first dated a gorgeous man. My ex-husband was gorgeous. We looked like brother and sister, but he was Cuban, black, and Mexican. Gorgeous. And I was like, man, I never had a man this beautiful before. What am I going to do? I'm really going to have to be confident. I'm not going to tear this man down. I'm not going to do any of that. I, 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 I want to build my confidence because I've never had that before. And, guys, I umped up my confidence because everywhere we go we both had attention and I, I just I just didn't know what to do it was just amazing to me I loved it because wow and I welcomed it I didn't tear him down I didn't belittle him I didn't say who you cheating with who you looking at that man was to my knowledge that man did not make me feel like he was flirting with other women in my face. He didn't make me feel any type of way. I felt good. And I love that he had attention. And, and I know he wasn't going to do anything. He didn't do anything with it. That's how you got to be. When you got somebody gorgeous, when you, you got to learn how to accept that. Because you're going to ruin it. With your low self-esteem. So let's work on changing how we look at people, judging people, get to know people. You know, you don't know what that person, that prob person probably, like I said, if they're beautiful and mean, they're going through some hard life experience. I'm telling you, I went through it. I know some people walk across my path, probably think I'm mean, and I do apologize. I, you know, I, I was just going through. We all do. Even unattractive people go through that. You don't know, they go through where everybody don't think they nice looking. So how do you think that feels? It's the same way with beautiful people. We got to stop this. I need to see more beautiful people getting married and being in relationships because it's hard out here. Hey, hard worker. How you doing? What are you doing driving? You like it? I'm waiting on the order. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Sorry about that. But I didn't want to start recording. But let's do better. Let's do better. Let, let's change how we treat beautiful people. They hurt, too. We're people, too. We have feelings too. We want love too. We want respect and trust as well. I hope this is helping somebody. Make sure you share to be a blessing. Hit that like button if this is blessed and helped you. Hit that like button if you're so glad somebody said it. Glory to God. It gets on my nerves, y'all. Been dealing with it for years. And it's annoying. You would think when you get older, it gets better. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, guys, I hope you got your day is going good. You guys be blessed. I wasn't supposed to be on here this long, but this is a touchy subject for me. Because it's, I'm hearing it in church. My God. Do the pulpit. God is not telling y'all to say that. <laughs> All right, guys, you be blessed. Have a blessed day. Bye, guys.